I would like to introduce here our uh, uh, another new product, named as here Banos. So uh, Banos is a VNF solutions uh, uh, running on the NFB environment. So uh, uh, similar to the Oculus, so uh, Banos contains of the uh, mainly two portions. So uh, uh, left side is the uh, ZebOS, so control plane. So this is same as the uh, ZebOS as well as the uh, Oculus. So uh, Right side is a uh, uh, new module uh, uh, which can be introduced for the Banos. So right side is a data plane module. So uh, we are creating the data plane module supporting the uh, tunneling uh, VXN, like a VXN NVGRE and also we are supporting the flow switch and also we are supporting the basic layer to layer 3 MPLS function as well. So, uh, this is a, a little bit more detail about the, our data plane uh, architectures. So we are, using, we are supporting the Intel DPDK. So however, so in order to eliminate the, any dependency on the external API from the, uh, any networking switching functions, so we are introducing the hardware, hardware abstraction layer, similar to the uh, ZebOS. So this hardware abstraction layer has a dependency on the external API. Currently, we are supporting the Intel DPDK as well as the ODP API. So on top of this, so we are supporting a common packet handling and plugin module core. And also on top of this, we are creating the many switching functions based on the modular architectures. And also, <coughs> we can allow to customer to create a new forwarding module. So uh, we can provide the uh, all SDK, and also we are providing the, our own SDK. So uh, customer can create a new forwarding module, so uh, they can install the, such a new forwarding module on top of the uh, uh, running burners. So based on this, we can achieve the flexible uh, data plane architectures. So, uh, this is a supported function in the uh, latest bonus. So we are supporting the uh, basic layer two function, and also we are supporting the uh, full layer three functions. So including the uh, NAT, QoS, and also uh, ACL, or many other functions. Also, we are supporting the MPLS. As I mentioned, the, uh, we are working on the uh, MPLS from the uh, day one, so uh, uh, 1999. So uh, we are supporting the layer 2 VPN and the layer 3 VPN and also segment routing as well. And also we are supporting the new technology as well. So such as the flow switching and the tunneling such as VXLAN, NVGRE or uh, uh, such as new features. Also uh, we are supporting many features as well. So uh, for the security, we are supporting the IPsec and the firewall. So in terms of the IPsec, so VNF is a pure software solution. So uh, 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 many customer is interested in the performance side. So in case of the IPsec, we are providing a three type of the IPsec. So first one is the pure software solution. So in this case, encryption and the decryption can be done by software. So of course, performance is very limited. And second one is the Intel QAT solutions. So Intel QAT is a uh, 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 kind of the uh, uh, new PCIe hardware. So uh, encryption and the decryption can be done by hardware. However, in this case, uh, such a new PCIe card is required. So third one is the Intel multi-buffer multi solutions. So uh, normally, so uh, uh, Sandy Bridge or greater class of the CPU can support the uh, Intel multi-buffer solution as a part of the uh, uh, SSD instructions. So uh, we are using a such a uh, 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 CPU instruction for the uh, uh, IPsec encryption and the decryption. So in this case, so no additional hardware is required. So however, we can optimize the uh, uh, performance uh, 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 by using uh, uh, Intel CPU. So right now, so if uh, not using an Intel CPU functions, uh, we can achieve the 2.4 Gbps per CPU core. Of course, if you can assign to a more CPU core, you can increase your total performance. 
So uh, if using an Intel multi-buffer solution uh, uh, on the uh, same CPU, uh, we can achieve the, uh, two times of the performance. So roughly 5.4 Gbps uh, per CPU. Cool. Now, is that multi-stream or single stream? So will I get a single stream of 4.8 gigab gigabits per second, or is it? Uh, no, from our testing, uh, we are injecting the 100 streams. So we are creating the 100 IPsec tunnel. Okay. And also, we are supporting the higher availability as well, and also monitoring functions, and also multicast as well. And also, Vernos is a BNF solution uh, 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 supporting the routing the switching functionality. So uh, we are supporting the traditional uh, management framework, such as the SSH, CLI, SNNP, syslog, uh, everything. However, so this is a uh, BNF solution. We are also third-party software, such as uh, OpenStack and uh, Ansible. So custom, uh, we can provide uh, our own API for the uh, OpenStack and also uh, our own script for the uh, Ansible. Mm. So based on this, uh, operator can deploy the uh, banners from the uh, OpenStack. And also they can uh, 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 download the uh, configuration automatically. And also, uh, another stuff is, uh, 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 another thing is, uh, uh, we are supporting the multiple performance mode. <coughs> so, uh, uh, without, uh, 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 single image can support the multiple performance mode. So, we are calling a tiny, low, middle, high performance mode. So, sometimes customer uh, does not expect to have a higher performance. So, sometimes they are okay to have a, less than one gigi or two gigi or three gigi. So in this case, they can use the, uh, they can enable the uh, tiny more from the uh, CLI. And then, uh, uh, in case of the uh, tiny more, Vernos does not require the uh, 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 more CPU and the uh, more memory. So Vernos can run the, uh, uh, along with the uh, one CPU and the uh, less than the uh, one gig memory. So in this case, they can easily increase the number of instances on the single server. So based on this, uh, they can leverage the hardware as much as possible. However, sometimes customers would like to achieve the 10 gig performance per interface. In this case, they can pick the high performance mode. So in case of the high performance mode, uh, Barnos can achieve the 10 gig in, uh, um, wire, line, uh, wire rate performance per interface regardless of the uh, number of interface. So uh, uh, Vernos can achieve the uh, uh, wire rate performance per interface. Now is that something you can upgrade on the fly? Like say, uh, yes. you, say you so you, if you yes. did want to go up a level, you could, yes. you know, if you had the hardware yeah. available. Okay. So you can use a single image and you can just configure the performance more from okay. the CLI. Now if you do, so there's no reconfig, you don't have to reconfigure, you can just up yes. performance mode yeah. and go from there. Yeah. So okay. sometimes, so uh, 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 initially, so uh, number of subscriber is very very small. Mm -hmm. So they can use the uh, tiny more. However, so uh, uh, later, so number of sub sub subscriber is getting increased. So at that time, they need uh, more performance. At that time, they can enable the uh, high performance more. Okay. Switch to the high performance. Of course, they have to assign the additional CPU core, additional memory, mm -hmm. but yeah, they don't need to change the uh, uh, bonus itself. Is that non-disruptive, or you end up just rebooting it for it to readdress the extra memory or CPU assigned? Yes. So sometimes, so hypervisor system requires the uh, rebooting to add the uh, CPU core, uh, additional CPU, uh, memories. I didn't see a uh, NetFlow in the in the management features. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, NetCon. NetFlow. Ah, uh, NetFlow. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, slow. Okay. Yeah, slow. we are supporting oh, okay. S4. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's Thank only. You. So uh, I would like to talk about uh, several use cases. So uh, first two use cases is very, very straightforward. So which is described about, uh, uh, in the uh, NS, uh, ISG NFB as well. So uh, this is a bunch of uh, PE services. So we are supporting the many uh, PE functionalities such as the MPLS VPN, layer two, layer three VPN, and the uh, IPsec gateway, and also internet connectivity, and the uh, CGNet, and the uh, firewall as well. So uh, operator can deploy the such a networking function on top of the standard x86 servers. So in this case, they can leverage the uh, uh, standard server platform. For this, they can reduce the uh, uh, total capex. 
And also, as I mentioned here, Banos can support the multiple performance more with the single image. So in this case, for example, customer, uh, uh, total number of the subscriber is small. In this case, they can deploy the tiny mode. Uh, they can deploy the Banos with a tiny mode. In this case, they can uh, uh, increase the total number of instances on their single server. So they can leverage their hardware resources as much as possible. And also, uh, on their single hardware, so uh, they can enable their multiple uh, networking services. So one Banos is taking care of the, uh, let's say, L3 VPN, and the second one is taking care of the uh, firewall. For this, uh, the uh, customer can leverage the uh, total uh, uh, hardware uh, as much as possible. What, does it require to run an instance of this, and whether it's tiny, on every single individual, in the case of VMware, ESXi host? Or can it have one that just moves around the network? Because I've seen past solutions that you have to have a product, the, the network products sit on each individual host for the connections to be able to maintain and manage and handle stateful tables and such. Uh, yes, so uh, yeah, so you can use uh, install the uh, multiple bonus with the uh, multiple different mode. So uh, on the single server, so there is no limitation here. Uh, yeah, so and also uh, single bonus instance can be running uh, can be supporting the uh, all networking feature and the all performance mode. So they don't need to change the image. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything can be done by the configurations. So this is the uh, manage managed budget CP services. This is very similar to the budget P. So uh, 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 operator can deploy the uh, CP functionality on top of the uh, standard x86 server. So, and also uh, 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 similar to the uh, budget P services, uh, uh, they can use the uh, 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 multiple performance mode. And if using a tiny performance mode, they can deploy the uh, many instances on the uh, single server. So uh, they can leverage their hardware resources as much as possible. And another aspect is the uh, Banos can support the BRF functionality. So based on the uh, BRF functionality, one CP instance can support the uh, uh, multiple customers at the same time. However, each customer can be logically separated by using a BRF. Next is the uh, data center services. So uh, some of customers are already using uh, this, uh, uh, our banners for these services. So right now, inside of the data center, there are many, many uh, virtual tenant network. So uh, sometimes so, uh, uh, they would like to connect to a multiple uh, virtual tenant network. So at that time, so, uh, when using a banners, so uh, deployment and their configuration can be done by automatically. And Today, so uh, in order to connect to a multiple tenant network, so uh, operator might need to work on the uh, 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 deployment of the physical switches and cabling and configurations. However, in case of the Banos, Banos can be running on the uh, standard server platform, so uh, which can be used in the data center. So uh, from the uh, uh, third-party software, let's say so uh, OpenStack. So OpenStack can deploy the uh, banners and also downloading the configuration automatically. For this, so uh, 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 there is no need to work on the uh, deployment, physical deployment and the uh, cabling. And configuration is also done by the uh, uh, automatically. And also for the uh, travel shooting, so uh, sometimes so uh, there might be an issue in the uh, banners, so travel might be a uh, happen. At that time, uh, they can easily roll back the past image because yeah, this is a VM, so this is fully backed up periodically. So uh, if something is happening, so uh, uh, image is broken, breaking down, at that time, operator easily roll back to the past image. I know it's come up with us already about the troubleshooting side yeah. of it. So you, know, you mentioned you could roll back to another snapshot, yeah. something like that. I mean, what, before you go to something that big, how do you determine is it hardware, is it software? Yeah. What does the troubleshooting look like before you get to that big point of stop yeah. it, roll it back, and yeah. do that? Yeah, so, and also having the, any trouble on the hardware side, server side, so this is a VM, so they can easily move the, such a VM to the another platform. 
So uh, uh, we are supporting the uh, uh, KBM and the uh, VMA as a hypervisor system. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, they can migrate the uh, Banos image into the another servers. But Those are you... the only two uh, hypervisors that you support? So KBM. we are uh, fu yeah. fully tested on the, uh, uh, we tested the Banos on the uh, both platform, but the, uh, we did the uh, partial testing on the other platform, uh, other hypervisor as well. What other platforms did you test on? Uh, like so for the uh, marketing tool, we are using a virtual box or something. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, officially we are supporting the uh, two hypervisor systems, okay. KBM and the uh, mm -hmm. Now, uh, that's, that's important. When you're in the troubleshooting phase and you, you make that decision to troubleshoot and roll back or to yeah. roll to another image and the problem isn't resolved, whatever happened yes. to be coming up, so, what's the next step following yeah, that? Next step, so uh, sometimes so, uh, uh, we can, uh, if we can get the uh, image so where the issue is happened, mm -hmm. so we can look into the uh, image and then we can figure out the uh, root cause of the uh, issue. Sure. For, from operation perspective, they can easily roll back the uh, uh, past image. However, we are getting the uh, 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 original uh, the image which uh, having the issue. Mm -hmm. We can look into the, uh, such an issue separately. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so we can recover the uh, services. In parallel, we can look into the root cause as well. So next use case is uh, our original use cases. So uh, we are calling the uh, uh, uses separations. So sometimes uh, 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 operator deploys the uh, open flow network. So each device can support the uh, open flow protocol. And also sometimes they are using a SDN controller, uh, such as the open daylight and the uh, ONO. So, however, so many, many times I can hear they would like to deploy the uh, networking services, which they are providing today. So such as the uh, L3 VPN service, L2 VPN service, and the uh, 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 internet connectivity service and the gateway services. And also, even those deploying the uh, pure open flow network, sometimes this network is connecting to the uh, uh, existing IP MPLS network. So in this case, between the, uh, these border routers, so protocol is required. Because the uh, existing routers require the, uh, some protocol such as the uh, BGP or OSPA, and also when providing the uh, uh, networking services, like uh, L3 VPN. In this case, uh, 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 BGP need to be done in order to exchange the uh, L3 VPN information. However, these devices support the only open flow protocol. For this, uh, 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 we are providing the uh, BANOS as a, for the uh, control plane protocol. So this BANOS does not have a responsibility for the uh, packet holding. Mm -hmm. This one can take care of the only control plane. So, Vanos uh, is talking to each other, and also Vanos is talking to the router. However, they can install the Vanos outside of the actual network. So, let's say so, uh, uh, operator can install the Vanos into the uh, dead center or any places, so which can be running on the x86 server. And Banos is talking to the uh, uh, exist, uh, uh, external router, as well as the Banos is talking to the each other. And then Banos uh, uh, exchange the routing information and calculate the signaling and the routing information. So based on this, Banos can uh, build up the uh, uh, holding information, uh, uh, which is called the FIF uh, normally. So however, Device can understand the only open flow protocol. For this, Banos C can translate uh, such a FIB information, IP MPLS information, into the uh, uh, flow entries. And then, Banos can provision uh, such a flow entry to the uh, actual holding devices. Such a flow entry is uh, uh, created based on the uh, MPLS information and the IP routing information. For this, uh, corresponding the uh, flow entry can support the, uh, can provide the uh, layer three VPN service and the uh, IP routing service as well. So like this, so uh, even those using uh, only open flow devices, so Banos C can uh, add the uh, uh, additional networking services on top of the uh, open flow devices. Are you saying that each independent device can act as its own independent uh, controller? 
Uh, yes, so we are uh, running, uh, uh, Banos is running uh, in independent from, from the network and independent from the SDN controller. And also Banos can support the uh, southbound interface. Sure. So uh, uh, Banos is also talking to the SDN controller. So for example, so one use case is here, Banos is taking care of the EGP only. So uh, Banos is talking to the external router only. However, there is no IGP here. So IGP information uh, can be provided by the SDN controller. So at that time, Banos uh, need to know the IGP information in order to build up the flow entry corresponding to the uh, MPLS VPN information and the EGP information. Mm -hmm. So like this, so uh, for example, SDN controller is fully managing the internal uh, routing information. However, uh, uh, Banos C can uh, take care of the external routing information. So you're saying can take care of that, but is it the only one that can or No, so it's a one it use case. Yeah. It's so sometimes some customer don't want to use the SDN controller. Mm -hmm. In this case, Banos can take up their both IGP and their EGP information. So uh, uh, there are a couple of the use cases. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to wrap my head around because you're one of the first vendors to say that we're not going to recreate the SDN controller. We, we operate at a different stack than the SDN controller itself. So ODL, traditional generic open flow controller, you outsource the flow control to those uh, projects or solutions individually. If you're acting independently, you're just using traditional uh, routing protocols to, trans to, to control flow. Is that pretty much the approach? That it, this is a standards-based router that you can have NFV uh, functions, and if you want this additional flow control or proprietary type flow control, we integrate with SD other SDN controllers. Uh, so uh, right now, so uh, 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 assumption is here, uh, uh, there is a pure open flow network here. So. However, so sometimes open flow network need to connect to the uh, uh, existing uh, IP MPLS network. So in this case, between the border, route, uh, uh, border routers, so protocol is needed. So for this, so uh, yeah, this is a starting point. And then we are considering to deploy the protocol outside of the network. Mm -hmm. So uh, similar consideration uh, is happening in the ON lab as well. So uh, we used to work with the ON lab. So, uh, 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 as you might know, ONDA uh, uh, proposed the SDN IP solution. At that time, we are providing the BGP module to the ONDA. So, uh, BGP is, uh, uh, our BGP is talking to the external router. It's a, a general router. And then, BGP, uh, our BGP is giving the, such a BGP information to the uh, ONDA SDN controller owners. So ONOS is translating the BGP information into the uh, flow entry. So similar to this, uh, our BANOS can, uh, uh, can allow the many protocol, not only IP. So we are supporting the MPLS VPN, layer two, layer three VPN, and also oh, 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 some other uh, multicast or everything. So any protocol is running inside of the BANOS, outside of the network, actual data plane network. And then, uh, uh, this guy can transfer, similar to the uh, owners, uh, this guy can translate the, uh, such uh, information into the uh, flow entries. So this guy can execute the uh, only flow switching. However, flow entry is created based on the uh, IP MPLS information. For this, so uh, 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 even though supporting the open flow network, so uh, they can achieve the uh, uh, MPLS VPN service based on the uh, flow switching only. So this is the, uh, uh, our approach for this use case. Yeah. So this is the last slide. So yeah. So uh, I preparing the, uh, some uh, 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 backup slide about the uh, more uh, detailed implementation of the our bonus. So but the, uh, uh, I don't think we, I have uh, any uh, additional time. So uh, uh, if you are interested in the, uh, any uh, architecture design implementation itself. Uh, uh, I can talk to the offline. So uh, uh, routing table is uh, uh, one of the, uh, our big implementation because uh, 
uh, our routing table, normally software, uh, if using a software, so if getting to a tons of the entry into a routing table, lookup time is getting increased. However, we can achieve the constant lookup time, regardless of the number of entries. So, uh, uh, yeah, like this, so uh, uh, when increasing the uh, number of entries, lookup look up time is uh, 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 not good. So, however, so uh, we can achieve the uh, constant lookup time, regardless of the uh, uh, number of entries. So, it's a memory mapped IO. So we pretty much know. So we can provide you with stack trace, and it will tell you exactly which routine it crashed, and that's how we do the analysis. And typical things like core dump, all those things are available. And debug within the protocol, mm -hmm. like you could debug at a packet level, protocol level, hardware level. Well, it really comes down to the ease and the, the challenges around troubleshooting because exactly. we're not, on a daily basis, we're not trying to solve something that's easy. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to solve something that's very weird, very anomalous, or something that's never happened before, and we have to kind of figure it out. Yep. And whether it's we're figuring it on our own shoulders, or we're engaged with a support organization who's going deep and you know digging into core dumps and Typ stack traces and yeah, such. Yeah. Typically, you know, we provide uh, all levels of support since we are uh, we are fully geared to support engineers mm -hmm. at different companies. So we can go very deep, mm -hmm. basically, and uh, if necessary, like if it's a network outage situation, we do even occasionally send people mm -hmm. directly to work with the customer. And uh, the all the best practices of customer support, you know, we do follow those. 